what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel now i know i ain't been on here for some months but you already know how that goes so i know i'm looking wild um i decided to go ahead and do this video right quick um today it's going to be a little short little story time um just a short little story time i really don't have much to talk about really but um what's been up with your girl why she ain't been on youtube <laughs> um i'm trying to find my cellular device I don't even here it is discard all that so what's been up with me is I basically been in school and when I get home from school I just be so fucking tired um I just work 30 hours like tomorrow I gotta go to school Tuesday I gotta go to school Wednesday I gotta go to school which, Tuesday is my birthday, my 20th birthday, which I'm going to make a promise to y'all already. I am going to do a birthday vlog. <laughs> it's not going to be much, but I'm going to do a birthday vlog. You finally get to see what's inside of my school and everything because I will be at school for 10 hours that day. Not doing much for my birthday. Don't know what I'm getting for my birthday because nobody wants to tell me. So, whatever. But I know one thing I'm getting, and I'm getting a motherfucking birthday party. Woot, woot. Go be lit. We gonna be doing some of every motherfucking thing in that birthday party. Do you hear me? Body shots. <laughs> we gonna be doing body shots. Ping pong. Gonna play dice. We, we gonna do this party like we just some grown ass motherfuckers, okay? Technically, I am because I'm 20. But you know what I'm talking about? Like, high standard shit. Like, oh, like, we motherfucking 30 up in this bitch. Like, it's going to be a home. Uh, <laughs> ah! This regard that it's going to be a house party and a club mixed together. You know how you get wild at the club? <laughs> yeah, we're going to do that at the house. I'm going to have me some motherfucking friends over. But that's not what I wanted to talk to you about, really. But today I'm going to be talking to you about, um, a little sign sign, you know, some juicy details, woots woots about myself. Um, if you ain't got your popcorn or yo H2O. Go get it, because this is about to be lit. Let me take a sip. Whoa. Okay, nice. But not for real. Today, I'm going to talk to you about my first love. Everybody knows my one and only first love. My first love was, um, Braylon, and, you know... whatever so Braylon decided to um I had wrote Braylon a letter you know something was just telling me to write him a letter hurry up and write him a letter because you know how you can feel shit that's finna happen and you know you feel like you gonna save that person from doing that so you just send him a letter or talk to him so that's basically what I did I just sent the letter I was like you know keep your head up don't do none of that woo -to -woo -to -woo. don't fight because I know you um what's -to -woo -to -woo. so basically that's what I did I had did all that nonsense or whatever and um so you know how I said and I put my number down I was like if you need anything let me know and I got you um 
I wrote my number down. I was like, for call me, happy late birthday, with the, with the wool. He took that in consideration because his little lame ass finally 19 years old. We've been knowing each other for like four years now. We only dated for three and three years and um seven no three years and eight months we only dated for three years and eight months i met him back in 2013 just just in case some of y'all don't know um we hooked up on the first night no we did not have sex on the first night we dated on the first time we saw each other ever since then we've just been there for each other ever since we just did what we did basically we start having sex when, like, two years into the relationship. Why we wait that long? Stay tuned, because that's another story. That's another story time. Just to, We just had sex, like, two years later. Um, I still didn't want to, but he was like, come on, do it. I was just like... Okay, whatever. I'm just whatever makes you happy. I'm gonna give it to you. So I did whatever makes him happy. And then we were so addicted that we couldn't stop, and it became really, really toxic because we felt like sex was gonna fix everything. Like, but now we have some unfinished business to do. Am I single, or am I in a relationship? I am still single. Why I say I'm still single? It's because. I do not know where this is going to go. I don't know if we're going to date again or if it's meant for us to date again or is it meant for us just to remain friends. Who knows? But, you know, first love always comes first before anybody. Just like a best friend comes first before anybody. You know, so, uh, you know, everybody has that first love. If you ain't got your first love yet, then something is wrong. Has some empathy, yeah. So, enough of all that. Don't forget, I married myself. <laughs> I'm sorry, but um, he called me yesterday. If I, well, he been calling me, and I haven't been answering the phone because I've been like her Mendez as busy, and he didn't have the money on the phone, so he was just like, "Why no money?" <laughs> Wait a minute. And then I was just like, mm, okay, well. And every time I was to, you know, finna answer the phone, he had already been called or something. I'm just like, damn, yo. But <laughs> he been calling me for about like two weeks now. So he been locked up about three months, but whatever. So um, now I'm not going to tell y'all what he got locked up for because it's really not your business for two more homes in. But, um, my knees hurt. He finally called me on this little piece of shit. Um, yesterday, around about like five something. And he used somebody else's um collect call thing and it was like Charles or Chauncey or some damn body. I, I know it's probably with a C. But yeah. So he called me and I answered it. He was like push one. I pushed the one and we was able to talk for however long we wanna talk. I was because that person got minutes on the phone. But yeah. Um so, we was talking, and he was like, dang, bro, like, why you ain't answering the phone and us? And I'm like, I was like, dude, you know, I uh, go back to school and stuff, and I be in school for a whole 10 hours. I get up at 7 o'clock, I leave the house by 8.30, and I have to be to school at 9 o'clock. So, I just be busy, and then after I take my classes, I go on the floor, and I do hair all fucking day. So... So, um, yeah, and so I told him about that, and then he was just like, okay, well, whatever, and he was like, hey, log on to my Facebook and stuff, so me, I logged on his Facebook, he told me to take some pictures now, uh, post on his wall, and, um, 
all that. But you know, my thing was, damn, he asked somebody if he could use the phone for somebody else. Yeah. Like for me, like that's that's real high, like high key. Like I fuck with him, like on a personal level, I fuck with him. But um, he was just like, you know, mm. and then somebody in the background was like, is that bae? And he was just like, no, nah, that's not bae. <laughs> I was, to be honest about it, I was just like, I hope he don't say, yo, that's bae, because I'm just like, I don't even like dingling like that. Like, but anyway, he was like, no, nah, that's not bae. This one of my bras. And I was like, nigga, what? <laughs> he was like, no, nah, I'm just playing. I was like, Actually, I was like, nigga, what? You got me fucked up. And then he was like, no, I'm just playing. This is one of my exes. So I said, you still got me fucked up. I said, this is your first love. Don't get it twisted because I will come through this motherfucking phone. And then he was just like, he started laughing. He was like, this is my first love. She wanted me to correct it. She wanted me to get it right. Woo -to -woo -to -woo. And I was like, yeah, get it right. And so I asked him about his little homeboy, whatever. And he was just like, oh, yeah, he finna go this way and that way. And why the fuck you asking about him? Damn. And last time I heard, uh, we talked, you was finna say you would get married. And bitch ass nigga, you know, hoe ass nigga, punk ass nigga, really pooty ass nigga. <laughs> he already know how it gets down. He been called them words plenty of times for you. But, um, he was just like, I was just like, no. Like, I said, why are you bringing up other shit? Like, who finna get married? Ha! <laughs> Not to me. That's real funny. And I was just like, um, who finna get married? No, nobody finna get married. The fuck? So, um, after that, he was just like, you know, um, I gotta go or whatever I don't want to but I have to and I was just like okay and um he was just like you be good out here and I was like you be good out here and he was like okay I love you and I was like I love you too babe what you doing babe yeah so, when he was like, I love you, I was just like, oh, he still got feelings for me. And, like, for a couple couple days now, like, almost a, a week, I've been feeling like we really have some unfinished business. So, I felt like it got interrupted due to, like, all the drumming and the people we was hanging around with and all that. I felt like it got erupted because we was hanging around the wrong crowd and... Yeah, but I mean, if it if it is, I one person say that we might take each other. We might take each other back. It all depends. But do I really got love for him? Yes, I will take him back. That's the first ex I will actually take back. Quick in a heartbeat, like I won't say hell no. Nah, let me think about it. Woo woo woo, boy, you playing? I be like hell yes. Like I will take you back because he a good man. Or whatever. It's just the people he hang around with. And it reflects on him. So the only reason why I left him and did what I did. And yes I did. I cheated on him. Was because he cheated on me. And I had little bugs. And they're like. Oh. You know. So yeah. And then I was like getting tired of him. Because he was like a oh, broke ass little nigga. Like he ain't had no motherfucking money. So. Fuck it look like. Like I'm the type of bitch. Where you hear me. You gonna have to come out them pockets. Like if I ain't got it, you need to have it. And I be wanting shit through the month. You know how I'm saying. So whatever. So anyway, yeah, you know. Do I really have? Do I still have strong feelings from him? Yes, I do. I really do still have strong feelings from him. But I just couldn't. I hit them feelings when he showed me that he. Was like still pissed at me and shit like that, but he not even mad at me no more. And I, you know, we still got some a lot of shit to talk about and unfinished business to do. So 
I will keep y'all updated in this video. It's now 15 minutes long and I did my maximum. If you want to know part two on the subject, you know, hit that like button. Get this video a thumbs up and you already know. Huh? I'm about to go catch me some uh, groceries. Anyway, I sure you subscribe to this channel and I love y'all and all 15 subscribers. Let's get my channel to some more subscribers. And yeah, peace out.